What's going on guys, Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome back to another tactic testing and instructions. So I've had a comment in one of my videos that want a, uh, a tactic test on a variety of teams throughout the whole English league, all the way from National South, North, Banarama National, uh, League One, so on and so forth. So I'm going to try it out, that idea that is, with this tactic, which is the Benfica 442 by Guy Santos. Uh, hopefully it's all going to work out because I am having one team for every division um, and yeah so stay tuned for the instructions hey! right so welcome back this is the tactic this is the name the 442 Benfica Guy Santos uh, and as you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven teams, each belonging to a different division throughout the English league. Southampton, Huddersfield, Oxford, Scunthorpe, Dover, Southport, and Villa Corée. And hopefully, this tactic will do pretty well. Now, I haven't really picked an underdog or a top team for these tests. I've picked average teams throughout the whole league. So they're all roughly predicted about 10th, 11th. So... Yeah, there's no there's no biasness towards underdogs or top teams on this video, and so it should have a good indication of of how it will work. So as we can uh, see, it's four four two. You can't uh, go wrong with the classic four four two formation. The player instructions are advance forward left, advance forward right, winger left, winger right, deep line playmaker, box to box midfielder. Wing back left, wing back right, four plane defender left, four plane defender right, and the sweeper keeper. The set piece instructions for corners. Uh, there's none for the defend, but I'll show you anyway. Defending left and right, and there is instructions for the corners. So if you can't download this tactic and you need to uh, just copy, just pause the video and copy it over. Uh, that way, everything that should work pretty much the same uh, so yeah attacking right and attacking left for corners free kick instructions defending right and left and that's all routine so that's all the same or default don't have to change any of that and attacking right and left and also that's also routine one so you ain't got to change any of that either um throw-ins defending left and right and attacking right and left so that is that for the uh, instructions and set pieces and individual player instructions um up here it's a uh, personalized control the uh, i'm not i can't understand that but i'm, I'm guessing it's going to be something about control and possession uh, based tactic maybe you might have to uh translate that one for me but it's an attacking mentality, in possession, fairly wide uh, attacking width, passing into space, you're playing out defence, but you're not focusing on any part of the pitch in your attack. Um, slightly more direct passing directness. Tempo is much higher, so you're playing fast football. Working ball into box, so hopefully you should have more shots on target and not waste any, uh, with the daft longer long shots. Uh, well, it is nice when you do score those kind of goals. Um, and you give your players the free reign to run at the defence. In transition... Counter press and counter, uh, two standard instructions that a lot of tactics are using right now. Distribute to you. Where are we gone? Where are we gone? Uh, distribute to your centre backs and uh, your goalkeeper is uh, to roll it out to them as well. Out of possession, use offside trap, much higher line of engagement, much higher defensive line, so all your players are going to be pushed up pretty high. And defensive width is narrow. You're going to use tight marking, extremely urgent pressing intensity, prevent short, keep, short goalkeeper distribution. And uh, yeah, on the tackling, you're going to get stuck in. So expect some red cards, yellow cards, maybe not red cards, but definitely expect some yellow cards. Um, so yeah, that is that. You, I've just shown you all of the uh, team. Uh, this is the supposed best 11 for this tactic that I've chosen uh, for Southampton. Huddersfield, there's the supposed best 11 for them. Oxford, that's for them. Oh, look at that, was all wood burn. Scunthorpe, first 11. Dover, 
First 11 there. Loads of teams. Southport. First 11 again. And finally, Villa Correa. First 11 for them. Now, because there's so many teams, I'm not going to do the halfway point uh, in January. This is going to be a quick video, but a lot of teams uh, straight from start of the season, end of the season. See how everything finished up. So, I'll see you at the end of the season. Right then, end of the season, and we're going to start from all the way in the Vanarama National League South, and we're going to work our way up from there. So, first team is Billa Riquet. And uh, yeah, they got promoted uh, through the playoffs. They finished fifth, uh, but they had quite a few number of players in the top threes as well. Both strikers, um, Akin One Day and also uh, Noel Williams, um, joint first and third of 25 goals and 21 goals. You've got Loft, did absolutely incredible. Um, top average rating, assists, 17. And then you've also got a couple of players in the yellow cards. So 21 wins, 10 draws, 11 losses, 73 points. Uh, you came third with the goal difference of 31. And so that's not pretty bad considering that you finished fifth. And yeah, so everyone was pretty good. Um, and at the end of the day, you got promoted. So that's a good sign, surely, for this tactic. One down out of seven. Um, competitions, uh, you got all the way to the first round. You got knocked out by Gillingham, which is a shame. But you still got all the way to the first round, which ain't bad. Uh, English FA Trophy, which is obviously the smaller version for the smaller teams in the lower leagues. And we got all the way to the fourth round and you got knocked out by Notts County, uh, which is understandable. Notts County is an half-decent team, especially compared to Villa K. And uh, yeah, so, all right, pretty good. Some decent results going on. A very strong start to the end of the season, uh, to the start of the season. And a very strong start to the end. And then it was a if and or during the middle sections, but I think you already built up quite a few points at the start to not have to worry about that too much. There's been some good, decent results as well. Um, in the final, obviously, you won 2 1 against Bath in the playoff final. Uh, leading up to the uh, final of the playoffs, you had to go against Dartford and Maidstone 3 1, 3 0. All the way before them, look, you got Concord, uh, Hempstead, and Welling 2 0, 3 0, 3 2. So you're picking up some decent amount of goals. Um, twos, threes, fours, coming up pretty regular. So let's have a look at the squad and all of the all-time stats or overall stats for the season. The best player was Loft. He was absolutely incredible. Um, he was obviously in midfield, uh, played amazing. Played as your deep line playmaker. Just remember that if you are going to be this team and use this tactic. Uh, 12 goals and 21 assists, all right? This is very low league stuff going on here, and he is picking up some good stats. And then you got Akin one day and Noel Williams, both apiece, 29 goals and 28 goals. And then Oren Jackson after them with 10 goals, uh, were playing 7 points. Everyone played mint. Uh, you got Kennedy, your left back, chipping in with 14 assists. Added the right back, do even the right back got eight assists as well. And so everyone played pretty well. It worked out pretty good to be fair. And then the tactic analysis for your goals, you scored 102. You're letting quite a few, 62, but you're not the best team in the league. You're not the worst, you're not the best. Like I said, I've gone average on all these ta on all these teams uh, to try this tactic out. And I'm happy at that. It would be nice probably to get into the 50s for an average team. Um, you got promoted, but you got promoted via playoffs, so you had a few more games where the, where you could have conceded. But maybe you should have scored more then, if you had more games. Still good, though. Still got promoted. Goal locations and assist locations. Next team, Southport. Here we go. Didn't get promoted. So that's 1-1 one, one for a promotion. And, um, and not really, but you got a couple of players again. Well, not a couple of players, you got one player that did very well. Uh, 21 wins, 10 draws, 11 losses. Uh, you finished the season on 73 points. But Coria, uh, the, the main man, pretty much a striker for, uh, for Southport, 26 goals, came top of the list, came third in average ratings, and also came joint second with player of the matches. Uh, you never got any other players. Uh, in, in the top threes apart from your yellow cards. I told you you're going to rack up your yellow cards having that option on. 
So that's a shame um, that you didn't get promoted. But you got pretty high up. You predicted 10th, I believe. Yeah, you predicted 10th. And uh, you came 5th. So you still improved. There's no, there's no declining ability going on. There's no it makes everything worse kind of tactic going on. It did very well. Um, the or originator of this tactic did absolutely incredible with it as well. On FM base, obviously, there is a, a little thread going on of what is won, and he won all the all the cups and did amazing. And, and I thought I'll try it out. I got a few comments saying try this out, and I got another comment wanting wanting me to try it out with a load of teams. So this is the one. So yeah, Southport, they uh, didn't get promoted, but they still did pretty well. Let's have a look at the competition. So they got to the third round, uh, got knocked out by Colchester, and the English FA Trophy got knocked out in the first round by Notts County. Notts County is knocking all my teams out. What's going on here? <laughs> so um, yeah, schedule. Some, like I said, some decent score lines. Um, as previously on the other team, you've got some four, four twos, three ones, three twos. So you are picking up some decent amount of goals. Five twos, three ones, four, five, four. Um, but again, it just hasn't worked out that great for Southport. Well, it did work out great, but it hasn't wor worked out great, great when he got promoted. Um, and then again, had a great start to the season. A few more draws, but not a lot of losses. Um, and then you kind of wheedled out a little bit and started losing games, and that could be Dan. Could the AI actually have sussed you out? Is that a thing in Football Manager 20? Does the AI suss you out? Does the match engine start countering you? Uh, yeah, anyway, that is that. Your squad, best player was Coria. Uh, 31 goals in all competitions and 11 assists. Did absolutely incredible. Your second striker, George Newell, 23 goals, 10 assists, and everyone else was just pretty much bouncing around a few stats there and there. Uh, Ogle, your uh, left back. Again, the left back has done absolutely incredible with the assists, all right? 14 assists. And then your right back, uh, also eight assists and one goal. So the right and left backs are pretty piv pivotal to this tactic. They're, they're supplying quite a lot of goals. And yeah, everyone else played pretty well. Uh, you got Samson, he only came on. Uh, as a substitution, 11, 11 games started, even he scored 8 and 4. So he did pretty well as the uh, third string striker. But it was all about Newell and Coria. Um, did absolutely fantastic, both of them up front. A piece scoring 54 goals between them, uh, assisting 21. So it's not too bad for two strikers. They can uh, pretty much bounce off each other. I think that's a good thing about this tactic and having two strikers is that they bounce off each other both create chances for, for one another and, and that's a, a very good way to go about it. Uh, so next team is Dover, Vanarama National League. Here we go, promotion again, get in and we have some players in the top threes. So anyway, we finished on 28 wins, 6 draws, 12 losses. Considering we lost 12, we still got into the playoffs and won the playoffs. We got 90 points. And uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic, right? And so, Polion and Effion, the uh, two strikers. Striker, I played him as a striker. And Effion, the striker. Uh, first and joint second, 35 goals for this Polion. Absolutely insane. And I think it's all down to his acceleration and pace. This tactic works very well when you have fast strikers. I've noticed that through uh, all the teams, all the testings and things like that. I've read his thread. And, and yeah, so... 15, 15 XL pace, and for a Vanarama National League, that is absolutely insanely fast. And he did very well. Uh, Polion and Taylor, first and second for average rating, 7.57 and 7.46. You've got Taylor on 26, uh, 20 assists, sorry, uh, playing as the left uh, winger. Did absolutely incredible. Player of the matches, Polion and Effiong, again, first and joint second. And uh, yellow cards, as usual, you got some players in the top three there. Uh, so, absolutely insane. I just remembered, I forgot to show you, the Southport an an analysis. So, goals for Southport, anyway. 96 goals scored, which isn't that great. Um, but they didn't get promoted either, so it's not a, a broken tactic for them. Uh, and conceded 67. So, 67 is pretty similar to what uh, Billericke uh, conceded. 
Um, so we'll check that out in the next team, see if it's a recurring thing, see if that's one thing that may need to change. So yeah, 96 isn't great, but it's all right. You're getting close to 100. Uh, 67 conceded. And there's your goal locations and assist locations. Now back to Dover. So yeah, we've seen the players. Let's have a look at the schedule. So again, started pretty brightly. All right. Had a few losses, um, but there's a lot more wins. Um, and then had a very good end to the season again. Obviously won the... Uh, oh, oh. They won the FA Trophy final. Dover won a cup. Nice one. So yeah, they didn't just get promoted. They won a cup as well. Awesome. Um, and uh, the national final playoff to actually get promoted, they beat Sol Hill Moors 3-1. 5-1 uh, again, 4-1, 3-0, 3-0. So you, again, you're picking up some decent scores. 7-1, 4-1, 10-1 against Dag and Red. 10-1, that's in your own league against Dag and Red. That's absolutely insane. And that's not your only 10-1. Oh, yeah, you beat your under-18s 10-1 as well. And so, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Best player was Polion. He's on loan, unfortunately, so you're not going to have him for next season. But he scored 42 goals and 13 assists in all competitions, created 30 chances. Then you've got Bobby Joe Taylor, 11 and 24, with 47 chances created. He was a deep line playmaker. Absolutely incredible. And played a 7.49. After him, your other striker, Effiong. 31 and 5, and then your other midfielder, 16 and 5. Everyone played fantastic. Your left and right back, how did they do? Your left back assisted 6, and the right back assisted 9. So not too bad, not great, um, but they're still chipping in. Everyone's chipping in, basically. You can see from here, they're doing very well. Everyone in your team scored just about, apart from two or three players who are in your starting 11 anyway. But the chances that you created is insane. So many. So let's have a look at the tactic analysis. Goals, 119. That is more like it. Very, very well done to Dover. Um, I'm happy at 119, especially for a low team like this. And uh, total conceded. We're in the 60s again, becoming a, becoming a pattern. There's the goal locations and the assist locations. Next up is League 2 with Scunthorpe. Here we go once again. Champions, we actually won the league on this one. Again, a couple of players or two players at your team in the top threes. Uh, obviously, you've riddled the whole yellow cards. That's, that's, that belongs to you. Yellow cards belong to you, right? every division. Um, so, right then, John McAtee came second with goal scored with 21. Hamill uh, was in ratings and assists with 17 assists and 7.21 on the average ratings. And obviously, you got all three players in the yellow cards. And uh, yeah. You've won 26, drawn 6, and lost 14. You might have lost a lot of games, but you drew very little. And uh, you won, um, obviously, more than everyone else, and you got the points. You finished on 84 points. You had the highest goal difference, with 35 goal difference, compared to everybody else. And, uh, yeah, pretty good. Competitions, how did they do? English FA, they were knocked out in the third round. Carabao Cup, knocked out in the second round. And the Leasing.com Trophy, they were knocked out in the second round by Blackpool. Schedule, let's have a look at some of the results. Let's see if we've got some big score lines going on here. Had a great end to the season. That is definitely what pushed it uh, for promotion and champions of this league. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look. 3-0, three 5-0 three uh, at the end of the season. Had a little bit of a blip here. Um, it could all be down to losing players. Because when I do my tests, obviously I don't, I don't make every player happy. I don't use the editor to take away the injuries. I don't make everyone's morale absolutely amazing. So they play their art out every game. I just pretty much leave it how it is. And if they get injured, then tough. That happens in the real game. So it's only right I test it with more realism. Um, five ones, four one, uh, four nils, four nils. So you, again, you're picking up some decent results. And when you lose, there's a few where you're losing big. 5-1, that's a bad loss. 4-1. So, a mm, little bit of consistency issues. I don't think it's that much of an issue where you should be worried about doing badly. Uh, so, anyway, squad. Best player was Kevin Van Veen. Your striker, 20 goals, 13 assists, played a 7.18. 
Uh, midfielder left, Hamill. We've already seen him in the ratings. Uh, goal six, assisted 22, played 7.18 also. And then you've got McAtee, striker, 30 goals in all competitions. That's, that's also great. You've got your two strikers, 50 goals between them. And again, ooh, your, your right back defender did absolutely incredible. Uh, your other, even your other centre back got eight goals as well. So awesome. I'm happy at that. Definitely. Tactic analysis for Scunthorpe. Goals 102. It's not bad. Uh, would have been nice for a little bit more considering you are champions of the league. And again, conceded 66. So you're conceding the same amount. Of, all the teams throughout the league, they're all conceding. It's got to be a pattern. Got to be something to do with your defenders that are letting that amount of goals through, especially if you're the champions. Of, and you're letting that amount of goals in. So I don't understand. Maybe it's just something to do with quality. Maybe it's one of them. Maybe it's because you're so low leagues, anyone can smash a ball from anywhere and the chances of you scoring are dramatically more increased than it is when you're in the top leagues. That could be it. So, goal locations and assist locations. So, next up, League One, Oxford. Let's have a look. Champions again. Ta this tactic is working out brilliantly. All right? None of these teams are the favourites. None of these teams are relegation favourites either. They're all just bang average teams in their own respected divisions. And yeah, Oxford, promotion. Players scattered around everywhere in the top threes. Um, so, won 25, drawn 12, lost 7, 87 points. Goal difference 40, far surpassing everybody else. Second place was on 27, so you're 13 better off than them. Top scorers was Ben Woodburn and Matty Taylor. Matty Taylor was your striker, as along with Ben Woodburn, on loan from Liverpool. Um, he's a great, to be fair, for a League One, he's a great youngster. And uh, yeah, average rating, Liam Kelly and Woodburn, 7.39 and 3.3. Assists, Liam Kelly and James Henry, both joint first at both 16 assists. So they played absolutely incredible. I'm well happy with Oxford being top of the uh, table there. And let's have a look at the competition. So the FA Cup. Knocked out in the fourth round by Everton. So Oxford did pretty well uh, getting all the way to the fourth round. And unfortunately, they're against Everton. It's a premiership team at the end of the day, and it was always going to happen. And Carabao Cup got to the second round. Bristol Rovers and the Leasing.com Trophy. Uh, they were knocked out in the third round by Arsenal's under-23s. Um, well, being, being knocked out by a bunch of kids. Gutted. So yeah, that was them anyway. Let's have a look at the schedule. All right? There's a few losses dotted in and around there, but nowhere near as many as the other teams. Some of the big wins then. Let's have a look. 4-2 against Burton. That's a half-decent scoreline. Shrewsbury, 4-1. Uh, Wickham, 3-0. And you got 3-0s, 4-1s, 3-0s, 3-0s, a 6-2, 5-2. So again... No matter what league you're in, you're still you're not just scraping by on wins. You're not just winning the one nil, one nil, two ones. When you score, you're scoring some decent amount of goals. There's quite a lot of games where you've picked up a good score line. So yeah, so far so good. All the divisions up to the championship. I haven't showed you the championship yet, but you you're getting a good fair amount of goals going on here, and this tactic is pretty good, pretty good indeed. Squad, best player was Liam Kelly, midfielder. 10 goals, 21 assists, and 30 chances created. He played absolutely incredible. Um, obviously, he was your deep line playmaker, I believe. I'm pretty sure he was a deep line playmaker. Ooh, no. He was a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, so, yeah. It pretty much varies between them both, box-to-box -box and deep line. They're, they're picking up decent results uh, a pair, through the pair of them throughout the league. So one's often doing better than the other, but there's not distinguishingly one that's better than the other. They're both sharing, uh, sharing it. So I'm happy at that, definitely. Um, Woodburn, 26-5 and five in all competitions. Uh, Rob Dickey, uh, he's centre-back, nine goals, uh, three assists. Uh, with uh, Cameron Brannigan, 6-10. and 10. 
But so yeah, you got your mid. Obviously, you got your box to box ten and twenty one. He did absolutely insane getting twenty one assists. Um, but your deep line playmaker is still chipping in with ten assists and six goals. Uh, your right winger twenty assists and eight. And you got your other centre back ten goals. You, obviously, we know the striker scored very well, uh, twenty five and five. So again. Your whole team's chipping in, and, and certain positions are, are doing great. All the centre-backs and all the teams are doing fantastic with the amount of goals that they're scoring, eights, nines, tens. I think one of them was 11. And uh, your left and right-backs are also doing pretty well as well, well, apart from this guy down here. Josh Ruffles didn't do so well on that left-back position. Three assists is not good, uh, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll give the tactic the benefit of the doubt that it was just a bad season for this guy. Uh, because your right-back... Was alright, not great, 7.01, but he still chipped in with a few assists and goals. They may, they just might be the weak links. You know, that might be something that you want to improve upon. Get better loans in maybe to cover those positions and you're far, far better. Tactic analysis, right then, goals, 102 and 57. So we have dropped it down into the 50s, but again, you are the champions. You should not have that much. Or should you? Like I've already said before, you are lower level teams. Uh, is it just naturally going to get concede more because the quality of the division is just lower? But 102 is not bad. Would have been nice for a bit more, probably above 110, especially for being champions of that league. But regardless, you got promoted. It did the job. Um, goal locations and assist locations. Next up, we are in the championship. Huddersfield, let's have a look then. And oh, finished third and lost out in the playoffs. Shame. It's a shame. Missed out on the, on the promised land, the Premier League. Oh, anyway, they won 28, drawn 10, lost 8 as well. They, did, they had some brilliant score lines. And look at the top three. 94, 95, 97. There was one point. One point away from getting promoted because they had a better goal difference. They had the best goal difference in the whole league. But it wasn't meant to be. Unfortunately, the footballing gods said, no, not this season, lads. Anyway, you got a couple of players in the uh, top threes. Uh, Carl and Grant and Mooney. Uh, 27 and 26 goals. Obviously, these pair are your strikers. They did absolutely incredible. But Mitrovic or Martrovic... Uh, for Fulham is absolutely great. I've done tests, I've done tactics with, with Fulham before, and he just smashes it. Um, then you've got Carl and Grant in average ratings, third, 7.42. Uh, and then after them, it's just the yellow card gang. Yellow card gang, they're always there, every team, all the time, without fail. We'll show up, boss, we'll get some cards. Uh, so, yeah, that's them anyway. Uh, let's have a look at the competitions. Um, friendly Cup winners in the final, not bothered about that. Uh, FA Cup, third round, knocked out by Everton. And the Carabao Cup, knocked out in the third round by Southampton. So they didn't do very well in the cup competitions. Let's have a look at some of the score lines. It's a shame that we lost. We had a pretty much decent, decentish season as well, looking at the score lines. It was just around January time. Probably lacked a few points here. Look, we only won one game in January. And that would have been all the difference. Just that one game is all they needed. That one draw, that extra draw just against Fulham or Brentford would have been promoted. Uh, but again, some decent results. 4-0. Uh, that. Bristol City smashed in in the semi-finals. 7-1. Oh, no. Oh, what a... That would have made me feel sick watching that. Um. So, yeah, anyway, 3-0s, 4-0s, 4-2s. 10-0 in there. Emily. Um, start the season, 5-1s, 2-1s, 3-3-3, so you're scoring 3, quite a lot at the time, so again, don't matter what league you're in, you're picking up some half decent results, let's have a look at the tactic, and now let's are, goals, 110, that's better, that's better, that's what I'm more expecting, uh, especially for championship quality, but conceded, we're in the 60s, 63 again, it's like an average, an average of 60 goals. Um, definitely something to look 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 about then whoever created this tactic have a quick little look a little tweak or if you're downloading this tactic tweak tweak it yourself um maybe sort sort that defense out something is definitely something's happening uh, yeah it's allowing them to score just those a little bit too much in my eyes 
but still good. 110 goals at the end of the day. Uh, goal locations and assist locations. Right then, we had a look at squad. Have a look at the squad. Well, about that's too many teams. Too many teams. Seven teams. So uh, yeah, your best player is Carlin Grant. Uh, 28 goals, three assists, 20 chances created on 7.37. This is an all competition. And then we've got Steve Mooney, 26 and 11. Uh, your left back, 13 and 3, 13 assists. That's that's pretty good going for your left back. You got your centre back again, scoring eight goals. Uh, your other centre back didn't score as many. Only played 7.02. So he might be someone that you may have to change, get alone, and get someone better in just to cover that position. And uh, yeah, so. Your midfielder left, uh, Smith Rowe, did very well. 3-14 and 14 as the winger. Um, everyone played good. Oh, Toffolo, one aim. 3-13, and 13. left back. Uh, so yeah, that's done. Final league is the Premier League, and it is Southampton. Let's have a look. What, what, what would you say is the decent result for Southampton? The predicted 10th. So it's got to be Europe, and it's got to be top six uh, or European qualification at least. Anyway, so let's have a look. And they finished seventh, but they still got European qualification, which is nice. It obviously, it always happens every now and again. And yeah, we got it. Seventeen wins, twelve draws, and only nine losses. That's not too bad. Sixty-three points, a uh, goal difference of eighteen, which is better than everyone else below you, uh, and and one. Obviously, Wolves as well. Wolves is awesome. Very well. Uh, but Che Adams, your young striker, came top of the list of the Premier League. 22 goals. Uh, Ward Prowse, average rating and assists is in both top threes. A third in average rating, 7.42, and assists with 15. He is definitely your deep line playmaker. You will not play him in any other position. <laughs> and uh, yellow cards. Hello there, yellow card gang. Once again. Uh, Holzberg and Bertrand. So I'm happy at that. At the end of the day, the team's above you. Look at them. You finished above Arsenal. That's that's good going, all right. Arsenal got some great players. I don't know why they don't do very well on a uh, football manager. They've got the awesome team, especially with Pepe and Bami Yang and Lacazette. They're, they're amazing. Uh, so to finish above them, which is great and convincingly above them as well. 63 points for you and 56 for them. All right, you you finish seven points above. Um, which is awesome. Uh, competitions, how did they do then? Friendly Cup winners, not caring about that. Got all the way to the quarterfinals and was knocked out by Newcastle United. Not a very good team to be knocked out against. You, you would have hoped to actually beat them and got into the semis. Uh, and then Carabao Cup again, quarterfinal against Leeds. So it's two teams that you really thought you would, you should beat. But you haven't. Uh, it happens. Let's move on. Schedule. Some of... Quite a lot of draws. Did very well at the start of the season. Only lost against Tottenham. And the rest of it was all, all unbeaten. Uh, some of the big teams then. Let's have a look. So United beat them 3-2. Uh, drew against Arsenal. Uh, we've seen that. We've lost against Tottenham. Drew against Man City. Awesome result. Uh, drew against Liverpool. Again, awesome result. Not to get smashed by them. Because everyone knows how good Liverpool is on this game. Especially in the first season. Chelsea. Beat Chelsea 2-1. Uh, Tottenham. They beat us, so we haven't actually beat Tottenham this season. So that's a shame. Would have been nice to at least get a draw against some of the big teams. Uh, lost against Man U the second time around. Lost against Chelsea the second time around. Uh, lost against Man City the second time around. But we managed to drew, draw 3-3 with Liverpool again. So Liverpool never beat us once uh, in the first season. And that is definitely a great result. Uh, and then we beat Arsenal one. So good results all around. Uh, let's have a look at your players then. Best player was James Ward-Prowse in all competitions with seven goals, 18 assists at 7.5. After him, you got Vestergaard. Um, only played a couple of games, but he did very well. Uh, but Che Adams, 25 goals, six assists, 25 chances created in the Premier League. The young lad did very, very well. I say young, 23, 22 when you start. So, yeah, he's got some great stats, though. Awesome attributes. Um, and then after him, you got Redmond, did very well on that left-hand side, 10-6. and six. Uh, yeah, A centre-back, 11-3, and three. awesome again. Danny Ings did great, 17-4. and four. Um, Bertrand, uh, one goal and eight assists, did very well as well. So yeah, your, your team did pretty good. Um, you start in 11 mainly, 
are obviously here. Then 25 and 17. So in the Premier League, both strikers racked up uh, 32 goals. Maths is <laughs> 32 goals. Uh, Redmond chipped in with 10. Uh, Ward Prowse, let's have a look. And there's no really outstanding ones. Buffal, 6 and 7, did all right on that right wing. And it's not his natural position. But unfortunately, there's no, nowhere else for him to go in this tactic. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at the tactic analysis then for the final team. Goals, 107. All right. All right for Southampton in the Premier League. If you think about the teams that are with you as well, it's pretty good going. And again, though, 64 conceded. We're in the 60s again. I don't know what it is. What could it be? Oh. Well, it's become a pattern, so there's definitely something cracking off. And for, it, for every team apart from one, all to be in the 60s, and it's roughly the same 61, 2, 3, 4 um, goals being conceded in all competitions, So, which is weird because everyone's in different competitions or different cups and getting knocked out at different times, yet everyone's got the same amount of goals conceded. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, goal locations and assist locations there awesome 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 it's been good to do this video um considering that is all the teams and all the divisions in england i'm happy to do it hopefully it's uh, satisfied the people that wanted this done hopefully it satisfied the guy that wanted this test done um so yeah hopefully guys you subscribe you like and uh, you come back for more this is tucker jobs gaming see you later bye